It's time to add a new verse to a famous old song, because from tomorrow, when you're gunning along the Scotswood Road, you're not necessarily going to see the Bladen races. You might be going to see the Newcastle Eagles. Welcome to the Eagles Community Arena, where last-minute preparations are going on around the clock ahead of opening night. It's uh, nervous, to be honest. You know, there's still quite a bit to do, uh, as you can see, but uh, I think we'll be, uh, as they say, all right on the night. So, uh, very exciting. They've been successful tenants at the Metro Radio Arena and Sports Central, but until now the Eagles have never been homeowners. The community arena has taken just over a year to build, but it's an idea, a dream, that's been around a lot longer than that. In reality, probably about 13 years from the, the point that we said, OK, we've done five or six years with the club, uh, you know, took it over in 99. Uh, we can see that this has got a route forward now. Where do we go from here? So it was probably around 2005, just at the point where we were, we were starting to win trophies and go on that successful run, it was about that time. So Paul, you've been in charge of British basketball. Where is this place going to stand in the list of venues around the league? I'd like to see this as the benchmark venue for the league in terms of the number of seats, about 3,000. We think that's the right number for us. But as importantly, the services that are in this building that will support the club. It opens up avenues to European competition, which is obviously the, uh, the, the, the big thing that we were trying to achieve from a club perspective. But this is a foundation build, first and foremost. The, the foundation own and operate the building. Uh, and as you can see, it's a big old space. And uh, during the week, you're talking three basketball courts, three netball courts, three volleyball courts, uh, wheelchair basketball. Those are our core sports. It's about community use and it's about making use of this space for, uh, for as many people as we can possibly accommodate. The club will finally have room for the trophy cabinet they've needed since Eagles player coach Fab Flournoy turned them into serial winners. So does he like his new house? Fab loves it. Fab loves it. He's over the moon. He's, uh, he's like a kid with a new toy. How are you going to feel? I would say uh, enormously proud, uh, probably a little bit emotional and uh, come Saturday very tired. Fittingly, opening night is a sellout. The Plymouth Raiders provide the opposition for the Eagles' housewarming party. Newcastle are already the British Basketball League's most successful club. Imagine what they could accomplish now they're finally on the property ladder.